biggest stars. Five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. The biggest names in music. Oh, wow. Big names. Big songs. Big guests. Big prizes. Well, it's a big show. Oh, 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 okay. The Big Show. Put your hands together for the one and only Glenn, Angel, FD, and Sean. That's what I'm talking about. 1FM 91.3. Good times, greatest hit. One, two, Good morning, Singapore. You're tuned in to The Big Show with Glenn, Angel, FD, and Sean. And our special guest for this morning is the creator of this amazing card game. Mm-hmm. All right, called... Ciao, recruit! <laughs> Romaine Lee, everybody. Good, Good morning, morning Romaine. Romaine. Good morning. <laughs> now, Romaine, firstly, ciao, recruit. Does that actually mean smelly recruit? Uh, yeah, it's actually like a slang in army lingo, but we just took it because it's such a sort of like cute, iconic um, slang that's used in army, and I just think it really captures the essence of what um, the game um, is trying to bring. Yeah, okay. the okay, essence, <laughs> essence of Chow Recruit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can <laughs> still hear. Yeah, because I, I was thinking with a name like that, I was going to ask you, does does your boyfriend who's in the army actually smell? <laughs> <laughs> Very bad, right? Well, well I mean... I'm making shower after book up, so I'm <laughs> <laughs> not gonna see you until. <laughs> because, I, because I mean, speaking from experience, look, all all recruits smell, you know, yeah. sure. when they book out, you know, during the week. You don't want to smell us during the week. <laughs> Let me just tell you that. Oh, you can leave the kong, but the kong never leaves you. Yeah, <laughs> the smell will be with you forever. Oh, gross. Okay, so Romaine, what made you st- uh, tell us a little bit more about this game, and then we'll ask you some questions. Well, Chow Recruit is basically a BMT-themed card game. So you play as like a recruit who just entered Tagong and like you've just enlisted. And what you want to do is that you want to go through BMT journey by completing a lot of um, achievements. So the achievements are seen through like XP cards. We call them experience cards, which are like green cards that are um, inspired by BMT achievements. So for example, we have like POP, block we so you want to be collecting all these xp cards but what you can do um to gonna your friends you're going to use gonna cards to dish up punishments to stop their progress <laughs> so there's like all these punishments that you typically see in army like bb k sign sign extra so all these things will like stop your friends in your tracks and what's really cool about the game is that um on each turn uh, on each gameplay you get to pick you get to play as a different character so these characters are like shown in these 11B cards. 11B you see, cards. Like the 11B cards. Yeah. So they're all like different characters and they're all the different like stereotypes of uh, different caricatures of people you meet in army. So they all have special abilities, which means you get to play different strategies on each turn. So essentially you are just, every time you play, you go through like a sort of different gameplay experience, which I find is really exciting. Yeah. For me, I've like play tested this game so many times in our like beta testing phase. And like it just never gets old because you just never know what's coming next. Oh, nice! You know, okay. army boys will love you because you know exactly, exactly <laughs> no. what they'll be talking about. No. Yeah, no. Actually, this game was um, inspired by the fact that I found that as a girl, I wasn't able to really comprehend um, what goes on in army because, like, obviously, I'm not going through NS, right? And I always just found that guys would just, just like kind of congregate by themselves, and it would just be. Um, like the one subject that they would talk about because it's just so easy to bond over and such and they wouldn't really um it's kind of hard for girls to relate and like jump into the conversation as well so it just kind of became a habit for me just like oh okay they're talking about it all right i'm just gonna shut down Mm. and like not talk to that because it just happened so many times but when my boyfriend went to ns and stuff um i realized like it occurred to me like why is there this get like why are boys and girls like so it's so hard for us to comprehend like this ns culture which i think is such an important part of our singaporean identity you know because ns affects us all like if it's going to be your boyfriend your friend your father your brothers yeah they're all going to go to ns and it's um it's just nice to have like a bonding subject too so that's why i created the card game as well it's like a channel for us to create this conversation about ns like a really cute and relatable way 
Yeah. That's fantastic. Okay, uh, just just one last question before we go on to the Big Show TV. How many people can play this game? Um, we can play up to five players. So from yeah, two to five. Two to five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice. Fantastic. Oh, perfect during this COVID period. That's yeah. Why. <laughs> yeah. 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 We had that in mind too. <laughs> <laughs> the five person gap. Okay. Uh, also, before I play the song, uh, just for uh, the benefit of uh, everyone who doesn't know what Eleven B stands yes. for, yeah. that is uh, your identity card when you go into the army. Ah. So when you give up your pink IC, they give you your Eleven B. Yeah. That's the green yeah. card. Oh. That's your identity B. card. Yeah. yeah. And then okay. once you ORD, they'll give you back your pink, pink IC. IC. Okay. Okay. All right, up next on The Big Show, The White Stripes. Here's Seven Nation Army on 1FM 91.3. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, one Nation Army. Okay, uh, 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 Romaine. Now, what? I mean, clearly you, you you invented Chow Recruit because you were with your boyfriend when you invented it, and you didn't want to feel left out and stuff like that. How difficult was it to get this whole game into place to make sure that you had everything that every all the information that everyone needed? Well, okay, me and my boyfriend really love playing card games, and I really like the charm of local card games that um, sort of uh, involved the local, infused the local culture into it because I just found it like super fun. Um, but it is way harder than it looks to really distill the essence of ARMY because there's like so much to talk about. But we really just put our focus onto BMC because I think that's more relatable. Most uh, Before being deployed to their different units, most of them will go through their basic military training. So um, what actually happened was that I made like a really rough prototype of the card game because I love to draw. So I do a lot of illustration things as gifts for my boyfriend. And so this is one of the gifts actually. And unknown to me, he brought the card game to his friends and his friends really, really liked it. I had no, I, I had no plans of making this a business actually. It was just like a gift, you know, just like, Hey, look, I made an army card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And so did, yeah, you, did you draw all the stuff that's on the current pack? I did, I did. Oh, wow. So okay. I, every card is like hand-drawn by me. Oh, yeah, I know wow. that card. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 the thing is Including the packaging. Oh, that's oh, amazing. Wow. Nice. Okay, oh. we haven't mentioned this yet. Um, you have a Kickstarter uh, fund me- funding program going on right now. When did it start? Uh, it started around... Uh, three weeks ago, wow, which is like okay. the start of yeah. Three weeks ago, you were aiming to get funded for eight thousand dollars, and yes, currently right. you are oversubscribed at ten thousand seven hundred and seventy-five dollars. Yay! Well done. And, yeah. and you still have uh, a week and a half to go. Yeah, the right, yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. And how does one go? Where does one go if they want to fund? Uh, child recruit because I want to fund you. Um, yeah. Oh, thank you. Well, so you can find us on Kickstarter, just search child recruit, or you can go onto our Instagram at the NSXP. It's in the link in bio, so you can pre-order your um, first your own deck of child recruit. And what you're gonna do is that you can go and select your rewards. Yes, yeah, so we're offering. Um, what how Kickstarter operates is that um, you pledge a certain amount of a donation to us and. Depending on the amount you put in, you can receive a, um, a corresponding amount of rewards. So we are offering one child recruit deck at $28 and there's more exclusive bundles like um, Kickstarter exclusive sticker pads or like cards that you can add into your gameplay. And one um, bundle that I'm really excited to work on is that we have like this golden bayonet deal, which is like you wow. can customize your own 11B. Yeah, oh, so like wow. you can put yourself in the game, which is like oh. super fun because I get to like um, draw like custom artwork for you guys oh if you want to. Oh, that's wow. fantastic. So, R- Romaine, this is not just for girlfriends who want to know what their boys, are, uh, their boyfriends <laughs> are going to go through with uh, BMT and stuff like that. Would this also be for boys that are about to embark on their BMT? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I think this game is enjoyed by everyone regardless of gender and age and I've really seen that through my testing because I've played with um, uh, guys as young as like 13 year olds and they catch onto the game so fast and they really like they get really curious about what BMT is about they would ask questions like the cards would prompt them to ask questions like oh what does man down mean and like 
mm. when do you say stand by universe you know mm. and it just like cultivates stand, stand that by what? Stand by universe. universe it's like an inspection <laughs> yeah yeah we, during my time is stand by bed stand by bed stand by bed stand by bed stand by bunk is, is when you have to uh, you know do your inspections for your bed right but when yeah. you do stand by universe it's like the entire camp that kind of thing <laughs> yeah. right? oh so your sergeant God. will just ah, walk by they'll by walk bed. through yeah. the staircase and like why you got dust under the staircase ah gone <laughs> oh man <laughs> yeah so but this is great because like like as you said you know um, this no longer this actually brings the girls the guys the new recruits everybody together even the family mm. members like a parents who don't know who don't understand what it. the kids yeah. are going through the yep. terms and all that you know so as soon as the boy walks through the door he's like i've been doing i don't know the terms x x x da, 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 da. straight away everyone's like okay oh i know what you went through i yeah. wasn't it helps physically them connect. The, yeah. yeah it helps them connect and i think it's fantastic yeah and i played it with my own friends cuz i'm 19 so most of my guy friends are in this thing right now and they go beyond just explaining the terms if they look at a card and it resonates with them they'll actually tell me like a personal story, a story. like a funny story that happened yeah, yeah. and so like i get to know like a in more intimate side of them like rather than just um the superficial like knowing the terms i get to understand like their own experience behind it so i get closer to them and i really enjoy it as like it's really unexpected that This game has such positive social impact on the people around. Me. That's no, fantastic. No, it's, it's, it's perfect, actually. Yeah. I, yeah. I see. Um, I see even more possibilities. You know, I think the SAF yeah. should uh, work with you yes. and and uh, oh. every single every single recruit <laughs> should be given, given one of these. Yeah, yes. I think so. Yeah. Uh, It is the perfect yeah, size. We'll- Perfect size to fit in our SBO as well. Which is what? What's an <laughs> SBO? Uh, skeleton battle order is okay. what you wear like your vest. Oh right. Yeah, right. Okay. okay. See, I don't. Now they have a new one, I think. Yeah, okay, the LBS. The LBS. Yeah. Look at that. She's she knows all. That. She has I'm to be up to date. To so, okay, speaking of which, Romain, like your Kickstarter ends on the 15th of uh, August, which is next Sunday, I believe. And um, <laughs> what's going to happen after? You're going to disseminate all the cards to everyone who's ordered it. All their all their pledges and all that will be met. But what's what's yeah. the future for Chow Recruit? So after fulfilling all the orders, we're hopefully um, we're thinking some more long term stuff. So we're hopefully looking to expansion packs. Um, a lot of um, data players have um, given really nice ideas about the future of Charikur, and we're taking all these like amazing, crazy ideas into consideration into what can be realistic. Um, hopefully, we can branch out into expansion packs that are like specializing in different units. So yeah. maybe like even the police force the Navy, or like the Navy. Right. I think that would be like really nice addition yeah. to the card game. And like the feedback so far has been. Really positive, and I'm so like heartened by it. Like everyone's saying, like, "Oh, that was so cute," and <laughs> I'm just like blown away because like um, <laughs> this is just done like super um, on a fly by me. I have no experience in design or whatever, so yeah, it's really thanks to my team behind me and everyone who yeah. has to work my ideas. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take you to actually create this game? Yeah, and since you mentioned your team. Yeah, yeah I know. Like, when I don't team. have a team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So remember how I said my boyfriend brought the card game. Yeah. Okay, Romain, uh, hold on, friend. hold on. We'll, uh, we're going to ask you about your team once again yeah. on, on air on the radio. And okay. we'll mention the yeah. Kickstarter again yeah. and your Instagram. Okay. Hold on. Sure, man. sure. Here we go. Diana King with Shy Guy right here on the Big Show One FM ninety one point three. Our guest for this morning is the creator of Chow Recruit, a really fun card game. Her name is Romain Lee. Good morning, Romain. Good morning, and congratulations once again on Chow Recruit because I mean we've been talking about it and, yep. and it's been um, you know so well received, and I'm sure uh, you know you're you're going to be experiencing bigger things in uh, in the near future. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And if you're just tuning in now, uh, Chow Recruit, just a brief background on it. It's basically a uniquely Singaporean army card game inspired by the trials of a Singaporean army boy, and it's a competitive and strategic card game where players compete to be the re- best recruit. And currently, they are still on Kickstarter. Uh, they've already met their goal of eight thousand dollars. It's been surpassed to reach already to pass ten thousand dollars. It goes on till next Sunday. So, where do people go, Romain, if they want to be a part of this Kickstarter, uh, Kickstarter funding? Well, you can go onto Kickstarter and just search "Chow Recruit" and we should appear. Or you can go onto our Instagram at the NSX. And it's in the link in bio to pre-order your own deck of Chow Recruit. Oh, right. fantastic! We're going to be putting it up on our Facebook page. One again, as well. that's the T H E 
NS XP XP so on National Instagram Service yes. experience, experience basically that's yeah. right you know when we, when we were on Big Show TV you were talking about your team <laughs> tell us a bit about yes. your team and how long it took to develop this game so my boyfriend brought um, his card game to camp and showed it to his friends and there because during that admin time um, some people choose to play card games as well so that's also one of the main motivations for child recruits that um, recruits can bring it into camp and play it during the admin time uh, yeah so a group of them was really interested and they really enjoyed um, the whole mechanics of it and uh, CJ, my boyfriend, is very business-minded. And he was like, let's take this into production. And he enlisted like his, a few of his friends who have their own like skills that would really help us out. Like there's one guy for, who's really good in tech. One guy is helping out with the game mechanics, helping refine because um, he loves card games. So he helped um, contribute to the game mechanic overall. And I was part of design. So it was a lot of ad, uh, like just the roles were just spread out everywhere. But we collaborated as a group. I think it would not have been successful without the team effort, really, because they were the ones who went through NS. Um, the way we drew the card game was that I had to ask them for the terms, and they had to like give me like a long story as much description. And I'm such a picky um, uh, director. <laughs> I'm like asking them for like every tiny detail. And yeah, so I had to like translate that all into uh, artwork that would be relatable and convey the message well. How Sounds like a perfect team, man. This, yeah, this yeah. is absolutely amazing. You know, you know, Romain, you know what you are. You are actually an entrepreneur and a startup. I don't yeah. know if anyone's told you, you're a startup company. You've got a team behind you. You've tapped into all the expertise of your friends, you know, brought them in together. One does tech, one does design, which is you. Another one does the mechanics. And then it was your boyfriend who's got the business mind. So you are a startup. What was it like when you held your first completed pack in your hands? Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> we really went from like, because our first prototype was literally like slips of paper, like flimsy slips of paper into like real holdable mats finished card and I've never seen my artwork in print before because I've always just been like doodling it on my computer it's the first time I've seen like hundreds of my own artwork like reproduced and it's like so surreal to me because it's like wow that's actually legit like it looks so legit we can just put it on the shelves right now and like what oh yeah it looks great no, it yeah. looks fantastic it I looks, think it's absolutely yeah. amazing amazing yeah. you know I mean I, I'm sure many people after listening to this interview today is gonna you know check out the NSXP and uh, perhaps just go on on Kickstarter and, 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 um, and back you on this yeah, yeah back sure. you and they wanna they wanna book like a pack for themselves yeah I mean if you're, a, if you're a parent of a boy who's going to go into the army like a 16 17 year old or even a boy that's about to embark on it or you're a girlfriend that has as a boy that's in the army and you have no idea what he's talking about this is this is a game like basically for every Singaporean it's educational it is and as yeah. you mentioned earlier on Romain you played it with a 13 year old boy and you know this will, will help to to make him less afraid in yeah. future of going into the army totally agree because now he, he kind of knows you know what he can expect yeah, yeah, when what, he goes in yeah. and is, he knows all the lingo as well it's, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a community service it is it is well, it's a fantastic really but it community sounds so uncool like community <laughs> service <laughs> no, but, but it, think it sounds about like it. she's doing it for free she's no, not no, she, she wants not. to earn some money but think about think about this and the good you're doing as you said with 13 year olds 14 year olds you are literally in a game prepping them for national service yeah. mm. and I think there's nothing that's even come close to this before yeah. and it's yeah. great I'm so I'm so pleased that we managed to get you on today like five days before National Day and oh. uh, actually what happened was FD read the newspaper new paper. article yeah. uh, last yeah. whenever it appeared yeah. and we're like we have to get Romaine on board and yeah. speak about this game more. I just want to get my hands on I on, do as well yeah game. I'm going to put an yeah. order in so you already have a little bit extra you're going to go past 11,000 hopefully soon <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so Romaine so the moment someone contributes right to Kickstarter uh, they get a pack right no 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 no, no they, they uh, after the end of the funding I see, yeah, I see. and it also depends it depends on what rewards you, you get yeah yeah okay, so it's at the choose. end once the once the funding round closes then she will start to produce all the packs that people have ordered all right yeah. really very, okay very everyone cool. everyone let's put put our money in Yes, Sean. Sean. Oh, oh, I have a suggestion, Romain. Uh, because you are doing expansion packs, correct? So one of the expansion packs could be Child Recruit 1965. Oh, 
Yeah, mm-hmm. back in my day, so because I I hang out with a lot of older people, right? And they like to compare <laughs> their national service experience with our national service experience. Right now, it's very comfortable, very but back in the day, <laughs> ah, you have to it climb through this, touch the tree, come back, all yeah. these kind of things. Very we'll fun. We'll bring wow. our cupboards down Surely. to the parade that'll square. Be, yes. That'll be fun because it's a his, his history lesson, right? You can ask your dad as well, your uncles, you know, whoever is older in your family. No, but we don't want to bring that time back. Why because, not? I mean, I've got friends <laughs> no, who have we, lost their fingers. No. And you know, they, oh they had their legs amputated. No, and, I'm sure dads would sort of love to play with you know, their kids. A, a tank kind of like you know, full crashed of into them. Yeah. You are full of nonsense. I mean, it, it, you really we, are. Don't, we don't want to remember He's those days. Nonsense. There's, there's so much more welfare now. It's well, it's all right. Were you bullied in the <laughs> back, back in the days, safety was a suggestion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now it's a must. Now, now it's, it's must. safety first. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. I mean, that's the wonder of child recruit, right? Uh, we also like want those who have gone through NS already to make this like sort of like a nostalgia factor and yeah. they have their own stories to share you know it doesn't yeah. have to always be tied into the constraints of the card game just as long as it promotes this positive conversation about national service I think the card game has fulfilled it well, speaking of conversation I bet you this will spark off conversations after the mic goes oh, off as definitely. well about the, the boys history in the army so it's well done Romain well done and Romain will be showing us uh, what the cards look like, look like live yeah. on the Big Show yes. TV meantime here's America wow. wow when was the last time we played you a song from America <laughs> this is You Can Do Magic on the Big Show 1FM 91.3 this is a retro classic So, show us a few more of those cards, Romain. What does, what does yeah, the pack sure. look like? So, the packaging itself is inspired by your shield pack. So, it's like your so little cute. shield pack here. I love <laughs> it. Mini yeah, shield pack. How many cards are yeah. inside? So, you have about 106 cards, inclusive wow. of all the um, all the 11 Bs and all the action cards. Oh my gosh, they're like all mess right now. <laughs> which means, but here which are means your you drew 106 action. cards. Yeah, I'm not gonna duplicate, but yeah, I basically drew like a hundred ish because we went through a lot of trials. A lot of cards were actually discarded. And I was like, oh, so, so bad. much <laughs> love, so much, so much love you can frame for, your, those. for yeah, your boyfriend. Yeah, you can frame the ones that 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 didn't make the pack. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them are um, part of the add-ons that you can get on Kickstarter, oh, nice. so it's not all of them okay. are gone forever. <laughs> so yeah, you have all these action cards. So the colored ones are your action cards, it's and uh, just huh? really yeah, nicely yeah. done. Beautiful art. Oh, uh-huh. Stun rifles. Yeah. And the, and the so game mechanics cool. correspond to like the terminology of it. So like take, take MC, <laughs> which means you get to be immune for a round. Oh. But if someone has, the counter attack is that if someone has a home visit, which is a joke that like people take MC just to like chill at home. King, um, king, if your sergeant king. comes, <laughs> yeah, if your sergeant you comes, <laughs> you have to skip your turn. Yeah, oh, so that's the downside of it. Right. Oh, wow. yeah. then, then what's Samula? <laughs> Means it's, you start from the beginning. Samula, yeah. No, Samula is you get to draw one of the top five cards I from see. the action okay. deck. Okay. So, yeah. so, the so, all the, so, sorry, the, the, so the end of the game, who wins? How do they win? So basically, these are your ex experience card right okay. as you can see the green one and there's like a number in the corner so what you want to do is you want to create um three sets of five xp so it has to be five xp on the dot so i'm gonna get three and two so that's five so okay. this is con- considered one set so i need to make three of these in order to win i need to be the first player to get this wow, but okay. what you can do is that you dish out punishment so for example <laughs> this punishment uh, and then you take four, four points away yeah, so then it becomes only one. So you have to like keep collecting XP. Oh, that is such a cool game. Do you yeah. lose the card or you just lose the points? I uh, just lose the points. So you this is points, right? in front of you. Yeah, and there are like cards to help you like so, um, steal back your card or like turn out your friends even more. So it's just really, you have to be quite strategic about it because each card has its own function, but you need to play it to fully optimize it. So yeah. how long does the game go on for? For example, um, it depends. It depends on how competitive your friends are. Yeah. Actually, wow. um, we had we had games that lasted like five minutes up to an hour. So <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, okay. it really yeah, it's more for casual players too. So you can just whip it out like parties. Yeah, really yeah. chill game. And you can play it over and over and over again because the changing. flow will yeah. never be the same. Yeah. Yeah, it's never going to be the same and you can always vary your gameplay. Um, there's different strate- strategies to win as well, yeah. actually. Like, the more I play, the more like different ways I find to win. So, yeah. so how do you determine who starts the game? 
Um, it's random. It's yeah. Random, right. Can we see forever. some of the characters? Yeah. Yeah, so this is an 11B card. I like um, the 11B. Rich kid. <laughs> yeah, this is a rich kid. Okay. <laughs> this one is Fitzpo. Oh, this is okay, yes. Fitzpo, Fitzpo, okay. Yes, this is Sean. Always have, always have. This is your Lobang. Lobang. Guy does everything. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Supplier. you got your Saikang warrior. What's that mean? What's Saikang warrior? Super helpful guy. Yeah. Saikang is nice guy. Okay, this nice guy. Yeah. Yeah. I never used to use that term all... when I was in the army, Saikang. Okay. <laughs> now you have your Wayang Kia, which is, I think, if you watch Abo Jiwen. Dramatic, dramatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. And got Blur Sotong, which is like the first <laughs> character I drew. Uh, this is the original Sotong design. On oh my god, that's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> special, special ability, Egg Blur. <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, and, Angel, did you know? I mean, about the term Sotong? Sotong, I knew. Yeah, knew, yeah right? I know, yeah. I know like, what that means. Yeah, yeah. Okay. like Blur, yeah. like a Sotong. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and then the last like, one. Okay. What's that one? Talking, 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 talking warrior. Talking, talking. <laughs> always the MC. Oh, one. this is the guy that is always like okay, skiving. Yeah. Oh <laughs> so gosh. funny, and sometimes the Chow King warriors uh, are right. the fittest guys, you know. Really? Really. Like yeah. when I was in the army, same thing. You know, they can be playing uh, football on a national level, uh, yeah. but then they will king. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to do combat, but they can do fitness. Yes. They feel like they've done enough. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> really? You'll be surprised. Wow. Romain, I got another suggestion for you for an uh, additional character that you can put in the Rambo. The Rambo. <laughs> Rambo. Uh, inspired after uh, the Supreme Leader, of course. Oh, oh my God. Dude. I was punished so badly when I was in Suffering Coast, I swear. <laughs> you know, because I, I was charging, right? We were charging uh, charging up the hill, right? Uh-huh. And I went ahead of everybody else. <laughs> so my ancient went like, no? Oi, Ong, you think you're Rambo? Ah? <laughs> I'll never forget that. <laughs> It's it's been you know thirty yes. years you plus. See, you and see I'll what never you've done. You that. see what you've done. These are the conversations that they've yeah, sparked. Stories, oh, you know, yeah, stories, yeah, and perfect. it's great. Oh, yeah. Really well done. Yeah, but I was punished. I was punished, punished so for badly that. for that because after that right, they all took it out on me. You know, the rest of oh, the oh because the of gang, you. Oh no! The was like, okay, yeah. you see, if if you guys don't want to be punished, right, then you need to do something to Ong. Ah. They were throwing stones at me. You know, <gasps> you got stones. We were digging the trench. Yeah, and then after that, I made a report. Port. Because you know me, like, yeah, I won't yeah, give yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then, Sabo. oh my god, all hell broke loose. Of course, because you all made a report. All hell broke That's loose. Why. I said all these bad things about the OC. Oh, wow. I said all the bad oh, things about, about the, the Inche and all so, that. So well, what, I, was the, I was a marked you man. You were like a that, whistleblower man. almost. What is a whistleblower no, no. in the army called? Like someone that, that does what he did, like rat on everybody and like say, but then know, like a rat I had a reason to rat on them. I had a reason to rat on them. You know, speaking <laughs> from an do. older point of view, right? I can see this where fathers play this with their sons. So, yeah. And as Share they're playing stories. the game, they're going, you know, back in my day, yeah, when yeah, I exactly my service, suggestion just now. Yeah, is, which is why that whole 1965 it's is a great is idea. A fantastic it's a great idea. idea. I'm, I'm just glad I didn't get the blanket party. Have you oh, guys yes. heard of blanket oh, party? Heard about it. You know, at Do night you when you're that? sleeping. Is that a cut? Yeah. Uh, it's a special ability, I think. <laughs> it's special ability to wake people up. Oh. Yeah. Like yeah. to wake people. So basically, while you're asleep at night, yeah, a whole bunch of uh, guys will, will cover, cover you, you with a blanket. blanket. Then they use the just, chunkle and wreck you. What's a chunkle? Uh, uh, it's like a, oh, the, a digging you know, a tool. Chunkle, digging oh, the, tool. Right, right, right. It's okay. got a very heavy, uh, uh, the what do you call, handle. handle right. yeah. Yeah. They'll just whack you. Oh my so if you don't God. cover your head, that's it. Yeah. I'm sure some people Fetal have been position. majorly Does that still injured. go on now, though? Uh, we don't know. Sh- I don't no, think so. No, no, no. <laughs> la, 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 no nothing la, like that la, happens la, in the army. No, no, no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it happens Never. anymore. Anymore, think, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my friends come back with like really fun stories of DMTs. I'm like, surprised. <laughs> I'm like, oh, fun stories. you like it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That should be the way. It should be yeah, fun. Yeah. It's an experience. Not painful. <laughs> no, but having said that, you know, I mean, and I brought this up before when we've talked about national service on, on the show. There are very few people you will meet mm. who have a regret of having experienced national service. Mm. Very few people. Very few people have regrets. Mm. They all come out with, oh, the friends I made and the stories yeah, yeah. and the this and but the that. But that's a and lot and later, yeah, right? Looking back in hindsight. No, yeah, yeah. Immediately, it's like, oh, I wish I never While, got while you're going through it, you suffer. You but suffer. in hindsight, you're like, yeah, very fun. Yeah. Is your boyfriend uh, suffering or having fun? Depends where he is. <laughs> Where is he well, now? he's having fun making the card game. Um, He got deployed to uh, unit in 
come now. So he's Check a security out. trooper now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's just near my house. Oh, nice. You okay. want to go and visit? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Security. <laughs> <laughs> go for a walk. Huh? Yeah. I'll see him now. Go tell recruit. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm no longer a recruiter. Yeah, yeah, true. You're going to already love. I love it. I love it. Great name. Great card game. Well done, Romaine. Well done. Thank you. Nice. We'll go back on it. Okay. We'll, we'll sign off when we go back on, on the radio. And then you can plug it again, okay? Yeah. Every stand by one traffic. Alrighty, let's see what's happening on the roads. You've got the usual delays across the expressways. I mean, that's not going to be too much of a surprise for you this morning. Uh, other than the usual delays, KPE towards the ECP, an obstacle on the road before airport road exit. AYE towards Twas, an accident before Buena Vista exit. Um, AYE towards Twas, another accident before Clemente Avenue 2. Congestion is to Buena Vista there as well. So look out for that. Stay within the speed limit. Have everyone buckled up. Be safe as you drive today. Good morning and welcome back to The Big Show and The Big Show TV. Our guest for this morning is the creator of... I think it's going to be the hottest, hottest game, game here, hottest card game here in Singapore. Yes. It's called Chow Recruit, <laughs> <laughs> or in English, Smelly Recruit. Okay, and she is Romaine <laughs> Lee. <laughs> we are getting questions of how people can get their hands on the on uh, the game. Okay, so what you got to do is you got to go to Kickstarter and then look for Chow Recruit, and that's spelled C H A O Recruit. Or you can go onto Instagram. It's the N S X P, which is the National Service Experience. T H E N S X P, and you'll find the link in their Instagram bio. And uh, the funding for Kickstarter goes on till the 15th of August for $28 per pack. So, Romaine, I'm going to ask you a question. You've developed this game, you've talked to the NS boys, and when we started this conversation, you said that NS was so much a part of the Singapore identity, right? You now yeah. understand what NS is about. Yeah, huh? Women in NS. What do you think? Uh, I think it's really amazing um, signing on for the country. I have, I think I've had like a senior in my school who signed on. And wow, yeah, it's really cool too. Like, I'm really interested to hear from their perspective. Unfortunately, um, I'm not close to them. But yeah, yeah I, I think it's a really cool perspective as well. Like both genders can serve the for the country. Yeah, but what about it being compulsory, compulsory though? Because someone NS, suggested, yeah. I think a lady it, suggested, yeah. it has been suggested that it, it that, be made compulsory yeah. for, for for men women, and women. women what do you do think? What, what do you think on that? Compulsory national service Two for women. years. Two years. <laughs> She's like, hmm. <laughs> now that you understand what it's about. <laughs> I mean, is this compulsory? I think all you can do is just go in with an open mind, right? Um, yeah, like you just never stuff. know. F first question, yeah, do I have to shave my head? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 of course no, not. I don't, I don't think females don't have to. Just a little shorter, la, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Short hair. Like, short I have to like bun it up. Yeah. yeah. Like, like Angel. That, Th there like you angel. go, nice and, nice and short. Fine. Okay, okay uh, Romaine, uh, I was going to ask you a question. Okay, so what have you found out <laughs> about the army that you didn't know before that is so useful now what can you say to the boys or the girls that are about to go through this or the parents oh um, that's a wow i've learned a lot i've picked up a lot of new terms and lingos and oh uh hmm it's hard to say because these are just like slang to just come up in conversation it's not really like I use them on a daily basis, but when people are like, just like, suck down, uh, so it's like, suck down, it's suck just down. like, suck it up, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> and then like, what, what, how I'll remember it is like, the image of the card will come into my mind, like, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, you'll relate it to a card. <laughs> yeah, because I spent so much time just drawing it, and like, oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's what it means. <laughs> Fantastic. Like, we do have... Yeah. We do have someone on our Facebook page, Matthew, who has said, congratulations, you have creatively contextualized a local rite of passage. Yes. Which I think, I think is a fantastic really compliment. Good. Yeah. Fantastic compliment. <laughs> wow. Speaking of which, just to update, uh, your Kickstarter is almost at 12K now. Wow. 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 Oh, there no way. You go, as we were talking. It's just yeah. half an hour. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> just getting the notifications because my phone's on do not I so. told you, it's just, it's going to go, it's going to go past 12,000. Uh, oh, for sure. Soon, yeah. yeah, there Please you go. Please continue 11, to give. 9, 6, 6. Give, there give, give go. to Romaine. Yeah. All right. So the, <laughs> the more, the better. So this would mean at least 10 people have bought it because it's $28, mm. right? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's there not to like, you know? I know. No, it's I'm, I'm going to get a pack as well. I've never done national service and I want a pack. There you go. I'll take a few. <laughs> yeah. Take a few. Yeah, <laughs> we have gifts. Nice. Giveaways. Yeah, gifts. Great. Yeah, we it'd love it. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Romaine, for joining us this morning. We're very proud of you. We're very proud of what you've thank done. Thank you so much. And we, we know this, okay, that, uh, you know, you're going to be getting calls from from many people. I'm, I'm hoping even, you know, the, the SAF. SAF. Yeah, yeah I hope yeah, so. Yeah, because I think uh, this is this is a oh really, <laughs> really good good card game. It's a great idea. Two well people done. need to get in touch with you. One, I feel, is the SAF and the other is the Ministry of Education. Yes, <laughs> it is they a both. form of education. Yeah. Yeah. Someone wants to mention the Ministry of Education. It doesn't sound so cool. Right? No. <laughs> no, because this Community game, no, this project. game, Getting backed by the Ministry of Education mm. is going to make the ministry look cool. I tell you what will be cool. Them giving her a lot of money. That will be cool. There you go. Let's get you funded by the government. There you go. Then drinks on you, huh? Okay, salute yeah. to you, man. Uh, Romaine, well, well done. done. You, really, man. really Great well job. done. Thank you so much. Yeah, the comments have been so heartening. Thank you so much. Excellent. Before we let you go, maybe uh, some last words for, uh, you know, your 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 team and, and, you know, the guys who are in the army right now. Yeah, uh, I would say chora and let's go <laughs> towards our stretch goals. And so like in our Kickstarter, we have lots of stretch goals. Um, the more we get funded, the more money we have uh, enough for a high quality of production. So that'll be amazing to bring out like the best quality of cards to everyone. Uh, yeah, and I hope that everyone will have a great time playing Chow Recruit and celebrate being Singaporean, yeah. Nice. Awesome. Especially during our NDP period. Nice. <laughs> nice. And go check it Thank out you. on Instagram as well. The NSXP. Yep. All right. And the link uh, is there to uh, the Kickstarter as yes. well. Thank you very much, Romaine, for joining us. Thanks, Thank Romaine. So Have for a great week. Bye bye. Bye bye. And happy too. National Day Thank to you. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Up next, Prince, the most beautiful girl in the world on the big show. Very nice. Thank you, nice Romaine. Thanks, well Romaine. done. We'll put the link up on our Facebook page as it's well. It's already there. Thank oh, you so much you. for reaching out to me as well. I really appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. And let's see that funding fly. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> okay. I look forward to delivering the pet deck to you guys too. Oh, maybe awesome. you can deliver it in person then. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. You, okay. You take care and stay safe, Romaine. Yeah, you too, guys. Bye. Take care. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. Wow, All that right. was fantastic. That was nice. I'm going to be spending so much money if we bring more of these people on. Like, I already <laughs> bought the One Kind Block last week. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then now I'm going to buy the Chow Recruit. I'm, Can I'm we just, stop finding these young people? I'm just thinking, here's a girl with, with this kind of creativity. Mm. There are so many angles of Singapore yeah. life that can be put down into on a cards. deck of cards. Yeah. And she could just, you know, in two years, she could have an amazingly... Just a whole and set, right? This, just this, a whole set. This yeah. could just be, a flourishing business. This could be a card game in your National Day pack as well. Yes. How cool would that yes. be? You know, everyone can benefit from it. If you yeah. don't have a child that's going, you don't have a son, you don't have whatever, you give it to someone. Yeah. Mm. You know, and everyone can benefit from it. It's very, very cool. I yeah. like it. I it's, love it's it. It's brilliant. I love that's the it. idea. She's amazing. Oh, I see Anjali is at <laughs> the oh, mic. Oh, yes. oh, <laughs> that, it's, that time, really. mean one thing. it's time for a couple of books. Yeah. Couple of books. That Couple Aunt of Anjali's going to be telling yeah. us about. Today I have two books. Yeah. Wow. Compared to today wow. Because they have the same theme. Okay. And the theme is women. Yay. That's the theme of the two good, books. Good theme. Us love guys, it. we I, love I, women. Like, yeah. I like that theme. That's a good Everyone theme. Everyone loves women. <laughs> we love women. Okay, so the first book is actually um, a Japanese book. It's called Convenience Store Women. Ooh. Which is a very straight Hello. to the point. You know, it's about a convenience store woman. Which can buy them conveniently. Or <laughs> hey. Yeah, I was about actually, to ask. Actually, you can. You know, it's a best selling book, this one. No, he's talking about buying the women. The women. No, 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 of course no, I'm talking no, no. about buying the book. I what are you thinking? Then you and I are on the same page. Rubbish. <laughs> okay, so this is a Japanese book and the one I got was translated in English, obviously. Um, so it's about this lady named Kiko. She starts off working as a part-timer at a convenience store at 19. And then we find out that 19 years later, she's still working at the convenience store. She loves it. It's part of her life. She doesn't know herself outside of the convenience store. But we realise as the book goes on that this convenience store is kind of a representation of society that so many people are telling her you should be progressing in life, you should be getting a husband, you should get married, you should have kids, you know, you should be a housewife, you know, your whole, your whole being is about raising a family. 
Hmm. But she's like, but I want to work at a convenience store. Yeah. Like, what's wrong with that? Exactly. Just going in, stocking some shelves. She loves it. It's such a big part of her life. But everyone's like, nah, you can't do that. Mm. So you should, should, you should be saying like, you, you want to live my life, pay my rent. <laughs> I, am, I am so, my hair is standing. Well, I went to Tokyo a few years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and you with, met Kiko? No, <laughs> with, with a company, Yakult, the, Yakult, the, the yeah. drink, right? And they introduced us to these Yakult sales girls that, that work in Tokyo. And her story was exactly the same. Yeah. This yeah. is what I want to do. I'm, I'm not interested. I'm happy. You know, mm. because they're addicted. They're addicted to Yakult because, you know, the sugar. Dude, you're missing in, the point. In Yakult. No, no. You're so, the, the, the point, no, okay. the point was she was happy where she was. Yeah. This was what she wanted to do. Mm. She had made her own social network from this. Mm -hmm. My hair standing because the story is exactly the same. Yeah, but, but the thing here is that, what, did she like just working for Yakult or what? Yeah. If you, she she should say Vitagen offers her a job. No, I mean, she, she, she'd, been offered, she'd been offered <laughs> other jobs and she she okay. never took them. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and, and what's wrong with that, right? Yeah. Doing what you love. Why do you have to shoot for the stars? Why don't you just you, you know, yeah. do what you like? Yeah. That's true. As like. long as you're happy. Yeah. Exactly. You don't have yeah. to make big bucks and be the CEO yeah. of a company. Mm. You don't have to do that. So th this book is about a woman trying to find wow. the balance between doing what she loves mm. and doing what she's expected to do as okay. a woman in society. Yeah. Okay. The next book I have is, I love this book, by the way. It's called Kim Ji Yong, born 1982. So this is set in Korea. So we're doing Japan and now we're doing Korea. Okay. Okay. So Named the, after the national dish, kimchi. No, kimchi. <laughs> kimchi. 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 Young. And it's not Kim Jong Un anything. No, okay? no, no. It's okay. Kimchi. Young. So basically, this book is uh, sectioned into four parts. We have Kim Ji Young's childhood, her adolescence, her young adulthood, and then her marriage. So you would just think she's a random Korean woman and it's her story. But as you're reading, you realize that she's a representation of all women in Korea and about how her definition of what it means to be a woman has been defined by other people. So in childhood, it was by her parents. In adolescence, it was in school by her teachers. Uh, in young adulthood, it was by her jobs. And then in marriage, it's by her husband. So mm -hmm. it was, she, didn't, she kind of doesn't really understand what it means to be a woman. Herself, yeah. Yeah, but, but like herself. And I think what I love about this book is how well they, they, how well the author puts forward the gender disparity and inequality in South Korea. Because it's actually quite, mm. it's quite bad. Yeah. I mm -hmm. think a lot of people don't know how yeah. bad it gets in South Korea. And uh, also what I love is that she, the author references everything she says. So she doesn't make sweeping statements like, no CEOs in Korea are women. She doesn't make sweeping statements like that. She says something and then she backs it up with a report, with a statistic, mm -hmm. with numbers. Mm -hmm. She references everything at the end of the chapter and you can go and read on from there. Oh, oh the author you, does. The wow. author does okay, okay. You, you okay. mean not so all of factual. them look like my Jenny and Jisoo from <laughs> Black no, 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 you know. No. 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 Only once they go to the same... Uh, no. There is, a, there is a gender problem in South mm. Korea. It's a very big one. And I yeah. think it is, it's a very important book for people who believe that we don't need like feminist movements anymore. Because if you go to Korea and you're reading this book, even though it's a fictional book, it's very much grounded in reality. Because mm. there's a lot mm. of really good... Uh, 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 references in there, mm. and I just I'm pulling up a quote from this. Feminist book. is such a bad word, actually. You know, feminist it's become is a bad right. word. Yeah. It's become yeah. a bad no, word. even before, so <laughs> before really, when he says someone's a feminist, uh, you know, okay, it's like, oh, burn okay. your bras. Yeah, she's gonna like <laughs> want to punch me, you know, that kind no, of thing. It's just, you know, you just want to be equal to men, and I I, yeah. I pulled up this quote that I think really uh, encapsulates this book. It, it's basically from the perspective of the her, her father's parents. So she's the second in the line. Her sister, she's an older sister and a younger brother. And the quote goes, everyone was jealous of his three children, his eldest a teacher, his second attending university in Seoul, and his youngest a son. Hmm. So, wow. That's the boys. Wow. Yeah. You can do anything in life, but if you're a boy, you just get you know yeah. get a better life. You get a step ahead. Yeah, yeah. That's, mm. the, that's, wow. that's that's a quote from the that's book. That's a quote from the book. That's a shocking statement. Yeah. Wow, that's a shock. To me, mm. that's a shocking statement. Why, FD? You've got all girls. No, Surely no, no. They, they, they give him the statement again. Okay, I'll do it again. No, but what do you? I was okay. Give Please the statement, then I want to get FD's reaction. Everyone was jealous of his three children. His eldest, a teacher. His second, attending attending university in Seoul, and his youngest, a son. The idea is the women have got to attain so much to get recognition. 
the boy, I'm a boy. She's That's it. Boy. I'm a boy. That's, That's it. it. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm there already. Yeah. I'm it's already, like, oh I'm already God. the golden child mm. because I'm the boy and I'm oh going to carry Lord. that name on. So did you feel that? I mean, I know we're a different society. Yeah. But because you, you, you've only had girls, girls, yeah. right? Were you a bit harder on them to to make them uh, what succeed? Harder? Yeah. To to no. to stand out. No. 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 Mm. Okay. I was very hard on them to uh, to to be who they want to be. Mm. They had to. They, I, I tried to get them to focus on on who they wanted to be very young, mm. and 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 stick by that. Uh, and it, that was whether it was in your career or as a woman, whatever. But you, you you have this vision of yourself, and you stick by that. And if you had had a son, it would have been the same. thing. It would have been the same thing. Actually, if I were a girl, okay, <laughs> which you've same. always wanted to be, right? Of course, you kind of. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I would just want to be a tai tai. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. You know, and that's fine. If you want yeah. to be a tai tai, yeah. if, if that makes you happy, you know then sure, go yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, but, but don't don't be forced into it, and don't do it because society expects you to do it. Yeah. yeah. You know, what I mean, do it because you want to do it. You want to chill. You want to be a lady who lunches, yeah, walks into exactly. the stores, yeah. everyone yeah. opens your doors, yeah. polishes your nails. Yeah, sure. I don't care what my husband does. Just give me the money. And fair enough. <laughs> yeah, so those are the two books I have today. They're very, very short reads, less than two hundred pages. Oh, nice. So they're just okay. really quick reads to kind of change your perspective. Less than two hundred pages. Less than two hundred pages. Both I'm of the in. books. I mean, he's oh, like, two months okay, wait, he's like, what, what are the two asleep. books again? Yeah, yeah, I, I've forgotten the titles. Go on in. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. John Farnham, you're the voice. Let me see. He's from Australia, right? Aussie, 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 Aussie! Oi, oi, no, Aussie, oi, oi, Aussie, 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 Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Three times. Only. And and you are the voice, and we have our very own voice, and that's Anjali, because she's been the voice of our big read every Wednesday, or at least where we can fit her in. And <laughs> and she's given us uh, the review on two books. If you missed any of it, you can go back onto our Facebook page and, and, and re-watch the video. But Anjali, quick, very quickly, the two books were? Okay, so the first one is Convenience Store Woman, about a woman trying to find the balance between what she loves and what she's expected to do and the other book is uh, Kim Ji Yong born 1982 and it's about a woman trying to uh, figure out her life and it's also a little bit about the gender inequality in Korea love it and you say love, it's split love, into love it. four sections right the yeah second so book? the second book is split between her adolescence her uh, childhood young adulthood and marriage and on all of those sections she's kind of figuring out what it means to be a woman because it's always defined by someone other than her oh well, nice very Love very I'm, nice I'm getting these two books it's okay. going to be on our Facebook page yeah, yeah, yeah by I'm the way put it up. on okay. the Big Show TV fantastic I think that the picture is flashing right now and on each, our Facebook and page each book is less than 200 pages yeah there you go it's shorter than your <laughs> Bollywood short, movies yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everything is shorter than your Bollywood movies uh, <laughs> that's true that is true <laughs> <laughs> okay yep. um Oh, we're going back to a song because Jang Jang is here. Jang Jang Johan is here, and uh, he'll be performing for us exclusively on the Big Show TV. But since you mentioned Bollywood movies, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I want to recommend something called One. It okay. stars uh, Shah Rukh Khan and uh, Anushka Sharma. Is it O N E? Who is the wife one? of uh, Virat Kohli? Yeah, I have no idea who they are. Uh, but okay. he's like you know the top batsman <laughs> okay. in, in he's India. A, he's oh right, a okay. Legend. okay, okay. Yeah, okay. so Shah Rukh Khan is a is a midget in this one. Oh, <laughs> so what? Cute. Is it a yeah, comedy? Like, for, it is. Okay, it is a, right. a romantic comedy. R- rom com. Yeah, but I cried a little bit. Also. Oh no! Aww. Yeah, it's one of those things. Damn, Aww. Shah Rukh Khan movie sometimes <laughs> <laughs> makes me cry. Okay. Anyway, hi, Johan. Good morning. Good okay, morning. Just for the benefit of those people who are listening to us on the radio right now and can only hear you, uh, what are the songs you'll be performing for us today, so that they will be able to uh, switch on their their devices and drive and watch you at the same time? <laughs> no, <laughs> like, no, no. We don't like, recommend. Like me? Dri- no, no, we don't no, recommend drive that. and listen. <laughs> drive and listen. Drive and listen. I mean, drive sorry. and listen. Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, because next week is National Day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably you do something from um, Stephanie Sun. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, Stephanie Sun. Okay. 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 Well, okay. All right. So a National song. Day song. All right. All right. Okay. Like so uh, watch us on the Big Show TV right now while we play your track from Bachelor Girl. Here's Buses and Trains on the Big Show One FM ninety one point three. Hey mom. Stephanie Sun, what song did she do? No Home? idea. This, oh no, that's Kit Chan. Home is Kit Chan, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's from Kit Chan. Oh. <laughs> that's what I'm like, wait, Stephanie Sun. They Sun. look the same right now. Oh, no, 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 they don't, no, they don't. I think I'm going to Google this one. Brother, you say this kind of thing, you get cancelled, you know. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> 
Sorry. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm sure Stephanie Sun did a National Day song Sorry, baby. Well. Yeah, she did. She did. Yeah, I trained with uh, Stephanie Sun's uh, vocal coach. Okay? Oh, yeah? Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, he failed uh, me, oh. la, but I still trained with him. <laughs> I didn't pass, but yeah. <laughs> but you learned some stuff. I learned, I learned everything. Yeah. From there. I'm yeah. looking if she did a song. She did perform once. <coughs> we will get there. We will get there. Oh, oh NDP 2002. Mm. Yeah. Wow, it's we will back. get there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we will get there. Okay, so you gotta do. We will get there. Then. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. then he goes no. He's like, I haven't <laughs> prepared it. <laughs> okay, so well, Kit Ki- Ki- Chan Ki- song. Kit Chan, Kit Chan, let's do this. Whenever I am feeling low, I looked around me and I know there's a place that will stay within me wherever I may choose to go. I will always recall the city, know every street and show. See down the river which brings us life, winding through my small pool. This is the truly where I know I must be, where my dreams wait for me, where the river always flows. This is home, surely, as my senses tell me, this is where. I won't be alone For this is where I know it's home When there are troubles to go through We'll find a way to start anew There is comfort in the knowledge That's all we want to speak with you now So we build our dreams together just like we've done before Just like the river which brings us life There are always peace to warm This is the fall <laughs> Where I know I must be Where my dreams wait for me Where the river always flows This is home, surely as my senses tell me, this is where I won't be alone. But this is where I know it's home. For this is where I know it's home. <laughs> Best Sorry, national I song. I have no idea what you were trying to tell me. I'm like, what? I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm looking at the lyrics, right? I'm like, I can't take my eyes off the lyrics. What are you trying to tell me? Still don't know what she's I talking thought, about. I had no idea you had your, your torch on. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Kitchan. <laughs> Sorry, Kit- Sorry, Stephanie. Sorry, Sorry Stephanie. Actually, yeah, we shouldn't have said Kitchan even. We should have said Dick Lee. Oh yeah, because he's, he's the oh, one who wrote true. it. That's, that's true. true. Yeah, but it's okay because these days everything women, right? So okay, la. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Just give oh, the women man, the credit, whoa. la. Yesterday, already you, huh? <laughs> what? What did I do? What did I do? What did I say? I'm a feminist, no? Just let you know. <laughs> <laughs> What? What? What's up with that laugh? <laughs> Yesterday you didn't sound very much like the, a feminist. What I do? The, no. um, cyber bullying with the yep. girl and her You didn't quite come and across as a feminist. <laughs> 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 Why though? No, but I think I think to do with that. I think I think yesterday yesterday and I I enjoyed it for for one thing. I went back and I watched it. Oh, did you? And and. Um, and I say this as a compliment. So many people enjoyed it, lah. No, uh, but yeah, I say you know I, what? They like us to be like that. No, no I, I, I don't this, like that. I say I, no. I, I say this as a compliment to you. To me, that was the Glenong. No, that I know. No, that was not the Glenong <laughs> that you know. Yes. I held back so much. <laughs> no, but it's not. You're closer to 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 what to what people. No, because I know here. I can't what say certain hear? things now, right? Because yeah, of course. You know, everyone <laughs> will have an opinion. You see, it's so, over yeah. in the in the yeah. past, I used yeah. to be. Either black or white. or white. 
Yeah. Now I'm like kind of forced to be gray. No. Yeah, uh, but you, you, yesterday was no. still was still a Glenong. But that is but you see our listeners, right? They love it, right? They love it. They love it, it when it was, I when, it was, when we kind of was on the yeah. it was on the fence. They were equal. Yeah. Why number? you're like that? Yeah. When everyone is peaceful and kind and because just like you know. Cool, but, you, you. But Glenn, I've said this for years. No, no, no. I no, don't like it. No, listen to me. I've said this about <laughs> you for years, and Johan, you. I, I'm sure you know this as well. You get on radio. We used and, to fight before. I don't yes. think you. You used to like that. No, I don't like fighting anymore. No, but I'm, the, the, I'm, I underst- I'm a lover. No, I understand all that. But you, you're a person that pe- people look at you and say. Glen Ong will say what I dare not say. No more. No, that's that's all in the past. You know, and people and, love that. You know, and people love that uh, because yeah. you become their voice. No, I really do think that times have changed. So okay, yeah. wait. On to nicer yes. topics. Yes, uh, yes. Do you know that uh, while the show was on, uh, Chow Recruit got an extra one thousand eight hundred dollars. Really? Oh. Yeah. Twelve thousand five hundred and ninety-two. They were at they were at ten seventy seven seven five. I'm sure by the end of the day they, they're yeah. going to get a couple more thousand. I'll, I'll yeah. keep an eye on it because it'll be yeah. cool to watch. Yeah. We must do yeah. an update tomorrow morning. Yeah, we'll do so, an update. So, tomorrow so we morning, need to yeah. just keep on reminding everybody to go to uh, the Instagram because I mean it's so easy it's to easier. go there and yeah. then just go to the link right, NSXP, the Kickstarter link. NSXP. Yeah, V T H E. N S X P. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. you'll be able to see some of uh, Romaine's awesome Pictures. artwork. Yeah. Very, very really nice. Well. Very, really good. Nice very, very nice. All yeah. right. What do I you have next? Turn it into a. Oh, I was going to ask you guys if you could, if you guys could start a Kickstarter. What would you you know? Oh, do? my lunch. <laughs> no, think bigger. I just need like Your six seven dollars. Lifelong me. lunch. How <laughs> about that? Lunch. Lunches for the rest of my life. There you go. Uh, Kickstarter. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I mean some some people benefit so yourself. Or, yeah, um, obviously it only benefits yourself. No, uh, I'm joking. Uh, there, there's stuff that's out there for the better good, right? The good I have, mm. I have an idea for an app. Oh yeah. Yeah. What for, is it? For dating, it's uh, it's a dating app for guys. Okay. Isn't that? What? Isn't it called Tinder? No, no, those are all for girls. <laughs> everything because girls rule the world. They, oh, okay. they pick everything. But that's this is true. A app mm. for guys. Isn't that an escort uh, app? No, that was oh, wow. escort app. <laughs> Why you look down on guys? Yeah. Right? I thought you were supposed to be equal team. Yeah, I, so it's, it's just basically an app for guys. But I cannot tell you the idea. Yeah, else. no, no, no don't tell it on, on radio. No, yeah. no, don't. Yeah, don't, don't, don't. Tell it to us and then. Then y'all will steal. Yes. Okay, you can. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting, you know, because do you do? if I if I went on Kickstarter, and this I mean in all, but, but Kickstarter is the wrong platform because I couldn't get enough money. What? I would go back to, do you remember that uh, machine we spoke about that takes plastic bottles and turns it into Matilda's fuel? Matilda's one. Matilda's mm-hmm. thing. I would go on Kickstarter to raise money to fund that. Oh, no, you can do that. Of course you can get money. 100%. Yeah, but I don't think I get enough to make any difference to her project. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. It, I'm sure so she is running All, all yeah. it is is the story that you tell. Maybe. If you maybe. tug enough heartstrings, if you, if you... if you Seriously, that's what... If I mean. you make someone at least shed a tear, you're going to get money. Because that, It's that, all about the story. That is really what I would yeah, do. Yeah, it's a, it's a great one. Yeah. Yeah, she's still looking for funding. She's still yeah. looking for funding. Yeah. Yeah, for so and, it, it is, and if you open it up worldwide, mm. you know, which mm. it is, you yeah. need to you need to connect with all your network, network. and send yeah. it out to as many people. Mm. Yeah. And every drop counts, right? Every yeah. drop makes the ocean, right? So yeah. you send it out to all your network, every yeah. $10 and this and that. Yeah. Before you know it, yeah, maybe. you hit that maybe. couple of million dollars or something. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, we got no time, is it? Yeah, we're we got playing one. news and sports already. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's wow. 9 o'clock. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cuz we were oh, time flies. We what? were talking to Romaine for quite a bit and then we had two stories which I wasn't we were, very long. I thought we spoke to Romaine for like 15 minutes. No, it no, was quite no long. Way. Half an hour. More than half an hour. Close yeah. to 40 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. You obviously never see the red card a lot of times. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Who didn't see the red card? Whoever is supposed all to say next. All of us. No, all of us. We're all guilty. The card is not big enough. The card he does it like 20 times and you don't even see. Sometimes it's blocked. I'm blocked by the you need to put it up at the camera. And do it like... Yes! yes. yes. I, see it. I see it this now. Only like when because we're all looking at the screen. Actually, it would be quite funny, actually, if you do yeah. that a bit more often. Just like that. Just real yeah. quick, right? Yeah. Because, because oh, okay. we look there. It's the we red card. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. they're telling a, like, a very special story, yeah, very sensitive, yeah. everything. There. I'm just like, okay, finish. Wrap <laughs> <laughs> up your story, yeah. <laughs> Cry for what? Cry for what? <laughs> no, 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 you know what? You, you wait for one of us to start talking and then you do yeah, it. Yeah, so we don't offend the guests. Time, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Because sometimes I know FD I doesn't see the card as well. Yeah, yeah. You know? So yeah. I, 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 I one see more it. On this I side. See, yeah, you need a bigger one. I need, yeah. <laughs> like one of those UFC ringles. <laughs> <laughs>
Rangel. <laughs> oh, I love. Who's your favorite UFC Ooh, Rangel? Oh my goodness, Brittany, Brittany Palmer, man. Yeah, Brittany Palmer. Yeah, Brittany Palmer. All right, we follow, gotta go. Okay, okay, bye. Okay. Yeah. All right. And follow Brittany Palmer on Instagram okay, as well. Bye. She's she's a very good we'll, artist. We'll by see the way. Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow, tomorrow we've got Luke Tan joining us tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Two, two, two people on the show. Luke's, Three people on the show. Luke's first uh, uh, um, what do you call um first session with us. First show with us. First show with yeah. us. And first I can actually slot. tell you yes, what correct. he's that's going that, to be talking that's about. That's what I wanted to say. Permanent. Yeah. First yeah. permanent, first permanent So he's going to be talking about uh, time optimization. So if you're finding it hard to spread your time across your day, uh, tune in tomorrow because Luke's going to tell us how to do it. Nice. Actually, I have nice. no problems yeah. in that area. Okay. <laughs> you know, once one time I could ha- I just watch one Bollywood movie. Now I can watch two Bollywood movies. So you have so a I lot of time. I'm, I'm optimizing definitely your optimizing time. my time. Very good. For sure. Okay. Right. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Share the video. Thanks, Bye-bye. John. Bye. Bye.